Yeah, they're experienced. Uh, you know, they went to the finals of their conference tournament a year ago. And they're Anyway, they they're just they're gonna press. They're gonna it's gonna be a diamond press. It's gonna be a uh, man to man run and jump a little bit, maybe a little two two one. Back to probably some kind of zone. Obviously, you guys got on the court on Monday. Would you get a sense that a lot of these players, especially the freshmen, are getting excited about the first one that actually does count this week? I don't know. I haven't seen them since since the game. So I was watching film yesterday, and I told them to. Kind of stay away and relax and get away for a day. What did you see from your team? I guess uh, watch the film and, and some things that you liked. Well, we made shots. And I thought I thought we were we were very capable of making shots. Uh, we didn't obviously in the in the two kind of scrimmages that we had going up and down, but we 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 made shots. I think when we. We pretty consistently made shots. You know, I think uh, a little bit was made the fact that we shoot 41, 41 percent for the for the game. But when you look at what we shot from three, and you and you add in that those threes are worth 12 more points than what the twos are, you know, you take a, a, a 41 percent or a 42 percent if you shoot it that well from three. And, and the fact that we got to the free throw line a bunch. You speak of getting to the free throw line. Uh, are you guys going to practice and shoot more free throws in practice than ever before this year? We can't shoot any more than what we shoot. We don't have enough time. They make 100 a day. That's a lot. Just talked to Devin. He said that he doesn't feel like anybody in the entire country can guard him one on one in the post. Uh, Confidence for a freshman is good, but, but yeah, how, how do you view uh, an opinion like that from him? Uh, we've got to throw him the ball more, obviously, than what we did. I think we, I think we only threw it to him twice in the post and uh, scored on the jump hook, and then he, he had an offensive foul on the other one. But you know, we've got to throw him the ball more. I think part of Part of our problem was we were too perimeter oriented, you know. But you know, part of that too is that we're trying to drive it and get to the foul line as well. So you don't want somebody standing in there when you're driving it. You kind of want to spread them. And, and Devin's very capable of making these 15 footers. He shoots it pretty well. So I think it'll be kind of a game to game deal as to how we put pressure on the rim. You know, we, we tried to do that before with Dennis in there, basically, and uh, I think we, we're probably going to do it more now by, by driving it at the rim rather than throwing it to somebody in the post, I think. Coach, what's a, a new season mean to you, or is it just like any other game? What, the first game? Yeah. I, I don't know, Justin. I, I don't... I mean, I think we're all, everybody gets excited about the season opening, but I don't know. I, I worry about, I worry about us being able to win and get better at the same time. Right. And, and I think, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we play too many people early, because you have to win. You right. Know, if, you, if you don't win, your chances of playing in the postseason aren't near as good. Maybe you skip over some things and you, you know you try to go too fast. And we've tried with this group particularly because I think we did that before. I think we went too fast trying to figure out how to win. And, and uh, we've slowed down considerably. And see how that works. It's just hard, you know, because you don't have enough stuff in and you see you see mismatches, you see situations where, you know, if you had the stuff in that you need to have in that you could make an adjustment and kind of uh, attack 
what they're doing, the, the, the weakness of what they're doing, but to call these guys over there who don't have any background on what we're trying to do right. and try to put a new play in for them. And I don't have that many timeouts, to be honest with you. So um, we just didn't. We ran one thing on offense when they played man-to-man, -man and that was it. And it was one thing and one thing only, and we've worked and worked and worked on on a little bit of you know diversity. We, I mean, they, they obviously they know the slip screens, they know the reject screens. They didn't do any of that. There wasn't one rejection. There wasn't one. All we did was back cut and curl. And we've got to be more diverse than that against man-to-man. -man. And then we were. We just pass it around the outside and force it up and make some shots against their zone. We've got to do a better job of attacking the zone, getting into the getting into the getting teeth the of the scenes. zone and making some things happen. Do you have any leaders emerging from this team? Jawan Staten's done a terrific job. He's uh, I think he's the guys that really lead are guys that lead by example and I think he's done that. He's been Day in and day out, you know, at least one of our hardest workers. We've got some guys. Aaron Harris works. Terry, before he got hurt, worked. Uh, but Kevin Noreen works. So we, we've got guys that, that I think kind of lead that way. And he's uh, I think, learning more and more and more how to be a vocal leader. You know, being a vocal leader, you got to do it the right way. You know, you've got to do it where it's... Uh, you're telling people what to do, but you're not doing it in a condescending way. So it's not taken the wrong way, it's taken the right way. And, and I think it gets better and better at that all the time. Do you see when the light comes on with a younger player, do you see it happen in practice or in a game? No, could you help me with that? <laughs> I mean, just kind of tell me what kind of look comes on their face that you just say, no, I'm, I flunked mind reading. I was, did well and everything else. I don't know when it comes on. I mean, it, it, they make shots and you think it comes on. I, the next game they miss shots, does it mean it went off? I don't know. It, it's and, and every situation's different. You know, we're we're not going to play against. We're going to play against 40 minutes of full court pressure probably on Friday, and then we're probably on Tuesday we're going to go to Blacksburg and we're going to play against a packed in man to man or a packed in zone. You know, so. Does it mean they have a good game against pressure when we got the floor spread and they're not as good against the packed end zone? Does that mean they had it and then they lost it? I, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, that's what that's what this makes this game so hard. Is it's there's so many different ways to play it and so many different ways to play it well. You're without Terry, how important does uh, does Chase Potter become at this point? Is he going to be relied on for some of that scoring that you talked about? I, I, I think Chase is going to play all year. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I don't think that playing Chase uh, in the first half is going to be anything out of the ordinary. He's a guy they got to guard, so, and he, he passes the ball fairly well. He's like the rest of them. We got to get better defensively. He's got to make better rotations. He's got to do a better job rebounding the ball. He's got to have better idea of what's supposed to happen. We miss so many open guys. And, that you know, I, it, it, it's hard when guys are wide open; they don't get the ball. You know that kind of. Then you start wondering why am I cutting so hard, and it, which hurts your offense. But that's all of them. I mean, it's uh, Chase is going to play. Chase is Chase is very much in our rotation. Talking the past about you know wanting guys to understand what it means to play for this university in this state. When you have so many players who are from West Virginia this year, does that help? With, with the message that you usually have to take on your own? Mm, I think, you know, we have five guys returning, and I think they understand it. And I think after after going through uh, what they went through a year ago, I think they understand it even more. So I don't, I don't think that's an issue.